Welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to make camera car with pan tilt control and mechanism wheels. Using this pan tilt assembly, we can rotate the camera horizontally and vertically from 0 to 180 degrees. We will use two microcontroller modules, ESP32 CAM module and ESP32 module. ESP32 CAM module will send car control commands to ESP32 module over serial communication. We will capture images using camera present on the car and send these images to our mobile phone using web socket through Wi-Fi connection. We will use mechanism wheels so that car can be moved in any direction. We will also control the car with our own mobile app. So let's get started and make this car. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. For making this car, we will need 4 TT DC gear motors, 4 mechanism wheels, there are L type and R type mechanism wheels, so we will need 2 of each, foam board plate for car chassis, you can use any material, pan tilt servo assembly, SG90 servo motors, we will need two motors, ESP32 module, ESP32 CAM module, L2988 motor driver module, we will need two pieces, UBC or buck converter to provide 5V to servos, 7 to 12V DC battery, in our case LiPo 3S battery, double sided tape, glue gun and few jumper wires. First we need to upload the code inside ESP32 CAM module. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that we need to install the async TCP and async web server library. Download these libraries from the links provided in the description below. Once downloaded, go to sketch, include library and then click on add zip file. Select the downloaded zip library file and click add. Similarly add async web server library as well. Now we need to set one parameter which is very important step so that video runs smoothly. Go inside your sketch folder, then libraries folder. Search for ESP async web server folder and then go inside src folder. Open async websocket.h file and change this ws max queued messages to one for our ESP32 board and save it. We need to upload this ESP32 camera code into ESP32 cam board. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. In our case, we will use Arduino Uno for uploading the code. Check my previous video on ESP32 cam car for detailed explanation on how to upload the code using Arduino Uno. Let's first assemble the pan tilt bracket and fix servos. Please check my video on pan tilt control for detailed assembly. Let's assemble the car now. First let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all 4 motors on car chassis using glue gun. Attach L2988 motor driver modules on car chassis using double sided tape. This is what the car looks like from the top view. As shown we have 4 motors as front right, back right, front left and back left motors. We will control 2 right side motors with right side L2988 motor driver module and two left side motors with left side motor driver module. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect gear motors to L2988 motor driver module. Right side motors will be connected to right side motor driver module. And 
and left side motors will be connected to left side motor driver module. Fix ESP32 module on car chassis using double sided tape. Now connect right L298 and motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Now connect left side L298 and motor driver module to ESP32 pins as per table. Attach DC battery power connectors to motor driver module to plus 12 volt pin and ground pin. We will take plus 5 volt from left side L298 and motor driver module and provide to ESP32 module through 5 volt and ground pin. Connect ESP32 CAM module to ESP32 module as per circuit diagram. Mount pan tilt assembly on car chassis using glue gum. Connect UBC to battery supply and provide plus 5 volt and ground to all servos. Connect pan tilt servos to ESP32 pins. Fix ESP32 camera module on bracket now. Attach wheels to car now. Let's take a quick look at the ESP32 car code now. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library for servo motor control. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. Inside code we need to include ESP32 servo library. After that define pan and tilt servo pins as IO12 and IO13. We have created objects for pan and tilt servos. We have defined some constants for car movement. We have assigned the right and left motor pins. We have set the PWM frequency and resolution for speed. Then we have process car movement function which takes commands like up, down, left, right etc and move the car. We have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and direction as arguments. It will rotate motor in forward or backward direction. We have created setup pin mode function to set up servos. It will attach servo pins to servo object. It will also set the motor pins as output. Inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function. We need to begin serial communication with ESP32 board using serial 1 object with pins as 4 and 15. Inside loop function we will receive serial data from ESP32 cam. Based on key, we will move the car, control pan tilt servos and change the speed of the car. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 rover module and port. Hit upload. Now connect battery to car. That's it. Let's see how it works. Let's open mobile app now. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to my Wi-Fi car SSID using password as 12345678. Open Google Chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1. It will open our car control app. That's it. Let's see how it works. You can control the car using these arrow buttons. You can adjust the car speed using the speed control. You can also control the flashlight. 
you can rotate the camera using pan tilt servos. We need to remember some important points. We need to set WS Max queued messages to 1, otherwise the video will be very slow. If video is not displayed on the app, then reconnect the Wi-Fi on mobile. Do not connect IO16 pin of ESP32 CAM. It is used internally by PSRAM. If uploading of code fails, then try after reconnecting USB cable to laptop. Make sure to provide separate 5V DC supply to servos. The power supply should have more than 2 ampere current. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.